Hello, in this video I will tell you something about shuttling commercials in EasySpot. Before you can shuttle commercials, you have to set up a few things. At first you have to set up Wakeview, second you have to have access to the correct uh, audio folders where, are, where your uh, commercials are located, and you can add breakers. We will uh, see how that works. At first we will check Wakeview. We log in with our supervisor code and click on the button Wakeview. And we see we have a Wakeview set up with three commercial blocks available. That's good. Second, we will check if we have the uh, correct uh, access rights. And yes, we have access to the commercial folder. At this place we can add some breakers. The first breaker is uh, the audio file to open the commercial block and the last breaker is um, an audio file to end a commercial block. If these things are right you can uh, log in. We have a clean screen and we will add a new customer. New. And uh, our new customer is a local newspaper. Product code newspaper. You can fill in the other field as well, but it's not really necessary. In this video, we will schedule commercials with just the basic data you have to fill in. Second part is to create a spot. New. I have two spots, uh, two commercial uh, files for this customer with a link. You can connect the audio file with the spot. Save. Second one. And if you want, you can listen to the commercial spot to check if you have selected the right uh, audio file. Het Waasland, 64.544 hectare groot. Okay, it's the right one. And save. The next thing you have to do is to create a package. A package it's a period of time, it can be a week, it can be a month or something in between, it can be a year also. In this example I will use it for just one week. It's the first week of uh, the contract. It will start on Monday the 21st of November at 8 a.m. and it will end November the 27th it's 1800 hours. I can add just one uh, spot or I can add two spots. With this configuration with two spots added to one package, EasySpot will shuttle uh, first the first spot and in a, the next commercial block the second spot. I will this uh, here this commercial only in business hours and uh, the customer ordered 50 spots this week so we click on booking auto select and the system will propose uh, 50 time slots the commercial is not booked yet just uh, proposals. For example, we see here um, one spot at 915 and 954, um, 45. And it's, it's not nice. So I will select this one with the right mouse button and I will place it there. If everything is uh, like you want, you can press the key with the green arrow. Book spots. Okay. Too many blocks selected, you will exceed seconds of package. 
you get this warning in this example because I didn't fill in the amount of seconds. So we press OK. And our commercials are, uh, are booked. If we check uh, in the broadcasts, then we will see this one. Get from Wakeview, it's open the database, and we open the playlists of uh, Monday, which hours shall we choose? Let's say um, 9 a.m. Voilà. I have two empty commercial blocks, which is correct, and a commercial block with our first breaker, our commercial spot, and our last breaker. This was a sh short explanation how to schedule commercials with EasySpot. If you have some questions, don't hesitate to send us an email to support at radiohost.com. Thank you for watching.